Hey everybody, thanks for stopping by my channel today. Uh, we recently went on a road trip vacation to the Petoskey area in Michigan. That's the bridge and went in the Upper Peninsula up to White Fit Whitefish Point. And I took my Jane Davenport journal with me. It was blank when I started. And I always kind of grab a journal, one pan of watercolors, and some colored pencils, and um, a water brush, and then I hit the road. So um, as we were driving, I was just, some of it was kind of just, you know, doodling here and there. And a um, mix between watercolor and doodle. So I thought I'd just quickly flip through. This is going to be a short video showing you what I drew. If you've ever thought about going on vacation, taking your art supplies with you, um, it, you can not only finish some things, but you can also kind of give yourself, hit that blank page with something so that later when you go back to it, you have something to bounce off of. So I'm just going to quickly go through here. Um, I have these sketches of these ladies. I thought it turned out fine. This is in a watercolor, waterproof ink, so I can, if I want to, go back and watercolor these. Um, I don't always do that because I scan them in um, and make digital art with them, so um, I probably won't color them in right away. But you can go back, so she has flowers in her hair, and I like how she turned out. She had a cape. We were listening to a story of uh, back in sort of more toward the medieval times, and so it kind of was inspiring me there. On this page, I have my a lady here, also a caped, and then I was trying out different sketchy flowers and going around, sort of making a, you know, a little frame, if you will, um, with those. And I liked how those turned out. I was using some different color markers or different widths, I should say, uh, tips of the horse head that never got finished. <laughs> But you can always paint over that too, so it's no big deal. It's not like you've wasted the paper. Um, here's some. The colors were really beautiful in um, in the UP. Uh, it's gotten cold here pretty quickly, so the trees are really starting to turn, especially up more north you get. Um, the pan I brought with me was the Primacolor Woodlands, so um, the colors are a bit muted here. There weren't like the bright oranges that we see in a lot of like our maple trees and bright reds, but um, I used what I had here. Here's the road. We're traveling along a lot of these curves lined with these trees and had little mosses and things. And uh, so just a little mindless water coloring there, but it almost looks like a waterfall now that I'm looking at it again. Mm, stopped midway in between this. I think it was time to get out or something. And then I have a little bouquet here that I was quickly doing. I was using the stencil I had uh, inadvertently brought with me and I quickly traced that and it's pretty unfinished, but again, things to bounce off of. I have one of my little ladies, I like to draw this style, and she's sort of more in an Elizabethan sort of era uh, outfit here. And again, with waterproof ink. And then I have some sisters that are almost conjoined, I guess. I don't know, They're, or peeking out from one another. I don't know, whatever you want it to be. But I was kind of playing around with the idea of drawing double. Um, I was doodling uh, a lot of, these are in pencil, so it might be a little bit hard to see, um, a lot of flowers, and then I drew a face under it. So um, trying to get hydrangea and lilac -y here. <laughs> That's a pencil sketch. So you can always go back in. Sometimes I'll do it in pencil and then I'll do it over with a, um, a pen like this. That's what I did with her and then I just erased the pencil. Skipped around a little bit. She is all watercolor and colored pencil. So she's kind of looking somewhere. She's looking over at these flowers. These are all with a um, that sketching set, that marker. They're actually they're they're waterproof um, black set that's uh, marketed towards magna draw magna what is that called you know the Japanese art um, I want to say magnum but that's not it magna maybe <laughs> um, but anyway that's that set so that was kind of fun makes a nice all over pattern when I scan it in I did a border here with that and then I have her which is kind of a sort of generic faced girl in a riding habit here 
an owl that never got finished. A fox. This was in our hotel room and I was quickly just sketching his body out to work on later. It's kind of a good good practice to kind of sketch what you see. You know, kind of pick something and think, oh, I'm going to try to sketch that and sketch it. That way you start to think about things and shapes. Um, I've got a rabbit here that I did. I thought it turned out fun with a little flower crown. Very mild, sleeping rabbit almost. Peaceful. I like how she turned out. And my fox. I like to draw foxes. And she has flowers as well and on her dress and in her hair. I like, the, I like how these turned out. So we, these are going to be digital art for sure. And then these were my mirror girls. <laughs> I thought, what if I've got one almost like looking into a lake and you see your reflection? So I tried drawing it and I would turn it and draw upside down to see how close I could get. And they're slightly different, but they're pretty close. It's kind of a fun exercise to do. I like how they turned out. And then this is a house I made. It's my mermaid house. You can see the tail coming out here. It's got scaly roof and bubbles coming out instead of smoke. <laughs> and an iron fence there and some bricks. So I was kind of trying out the different layers there. And I like how that turned out. Sometimes I just like a black and white sketch. I love color, but sometimes it's fun to just see. You see things differently when you do it in black and white, I think. Um, let's see, is that the last one? something here. Oh, <laughs> I was trying to draw a library with a little feather in a portrait. <laughs> and I got the nobody hangs a picture there. I did a bookshelf and I don't know why I put that there, but anyway, I had fun drawing all the little books. And a pillar here and a rug. So it's playing around with that. Let's see. Oh, I got more back here. Okay. <laughs> she is. She's got swoopy Marie Antoinette sort of up and at him hair and a crown and in her dress and she's looking at something. And then I just have some page of just kind of doodles trying out some different things here. I have another lady down here um, and drawing different things, writing out some words. This person here. And then I had a bird and some leaves, and it's just kind of practicing some cute little kitties, little kitty crown, <laughs> that flower, just some different doodles. It's good to just kind of do that. Take a page and just kind of doodle and practice. So I hope you hopefully you enjoyed that a little flip through there. Of um, got lots of room still. I felt like I did a lot um, whenever we weren't doing anything in particular. And um, I still have tons of pages left, and it's nice watercolor paper. So hopefully you enjoyed that little flip through. Gives you some ideas if you're going on a road trip. Grab some art supplies with you and see what you can draw. Have a great day.